Hey guys, here's step three of building your own website. This step asks you to make a subdomain for our class. So what's a subdomain? Your website, something like briancroxel.com, that's a domain. A subdomain is when you put something in front of briancroxel.com. So in the case of our class, maybe digit215.briancroxel.com. It's a way of using your domain for multiple purposes. The reason I want you to do this is so that you have your own site to do whatever you want with it. And then the subdomain is where you're going to do your assignments for our class. At the end of the term, if you want to blow up your subdomain and get rid of it, great, no problem. But you'll still have your own site that you could use for whatever projects you want. So that's why I'm asking you to make a subdomain. The first thing you're going to do is, as we have been doing, to go to reclaimhosting.com and log in. Once here, you'll go to the C panel. And on the control panel, you'll go ahead and choose domains that is under the domains heading. And like always, if you're having trouble finding it, you can just search for it up here. My page here will look different than yours because I have more websites. Go ahead and click the Create a New Domain button. Once you're here, you're going to type in the new subdomain for your site. So one thing you could do would be digit 215, and then you'll type your site name. You want to make sure that this document root file system location box is not checked. Otherwise, your subdomain will have all the same information as your regular domain. And once this is done, just click Submit. We'll wait for this to finish. And now you can see I have digit 215.briancroxel.com. If I go here, you'll see that there isn't anything at the moment. So let's fix that. Click the C panel in the upper left. Back here on the control panel, go ahead and select WordPress because you are going to install WordPress one more time on your subdomain. It is on your normal website. Now we just want it on your subdomain. So click install this application and this time look for your subdomain. If you don't see it there, you can type it in, but it should show up. And once again, remove the blog. If you want an overview of all of these choices again, you can watch the last video, but click install. We'll speed this up with magic. Once the installation is finished, scroll down, find your website. Again, you'll have a lot less than I do. And then I can click on this link and you can see that my website is here and ready to go. I can log in to the dashboard as I have done in the past. And then make sure you go ahead and change the time zone to Denver. Hit save settings. And that's it. Step three is done. You've created a subdomain and installed WordPress there.